there's two reasons why we flush hydrants. One is to check the operation of the hydrant, and that's for emergencies for the fire department. Uh, and two is for um, scouring the water mains, using high velocity water to scour the inside to keep uh, calcium and uh, rust and any other de uh, minerals and deposits that are in water to form on the inside of the pipe. All of this is done. We're going to come all the way down Heather Ridge. Coordinating a job like this uh, requires the, uh, a, a, a number of people because the idea behind flushing is to create that high velocity scouring. And in order to do that, um, we leapfrog, as you were. So hydrants here, the next hydrants here, and the, and the personnel are doing that as they go up that water main. They're creating that draw in one direction, and it, has, uh, it, it gives it that scouring effect. The amount, that volume of water that's coming out of that hydrant can be anywhere between four and 600 gallons a minute. So that's, that's quite a bit of water. It can be rough on, uh, on the body for the guys. Uh, they, uh, they will, uh, you know, you're, you're turning the wrench and using that same motion all day long and, and it's not something you probably do regularly. So it, it, you have some body aches at the end of the day. I know you look and go, well, geez, you're dumping a couple hundred thousand gallons out of that hydrant right down the drain. Um, unfortunately, in order to get fresh water to people and to keep giving them that good quality water, this is that necessary evil that we have to do. Because if we didn't do this, then it'd be a, the cost would be way more to have to replace water pipe every 15 to 20 years versus you know, looking at replacements in the 50 to 60 to 75 year range. Everything's running out of one power over here right now. But I think we do have a really good team here. Uh, it, there's a lot of people that have been here for quite a few years, and then there's some newcomers. It's all one big happy family.